Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Schwartman here. Today I'm going to do our story a little bit differently. Instead of reading a book, I am going to tell a story that is already in my head. It's from my memory because I know the story so well. This is a fairy tale called The Three Little Pigs. This story has been around for many, many years. And many fairy tales are like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Little Red Riding Hood. A lot of stories that we can tell from our heads because we've heard it so many times. So today I am going to tell it from my memory and I have some pictures um, to go along with the story. So I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived at home with their mother. One day she decided that they were grown up enough to go out on their own and to make their own homes. But she warned them, watch out for the big bad wolf. He likes to eat pigs. So off they went to go build their homes. The first little pig decided to make his house out of straw. So he built his house out of straw. Then the second little pig thought, mm, I need to make my house a little bit stronger than that because I don't think straw will hold up very well. So he built his house out of sticks. And then the third brother, he was the smartest of them all. He knew that straw and sticks weren't likely to hold up very well. So he made his house out of bricks. One morning, the first brother was in his home doing some work and all of a sudden he heard a knock on the door and it was this knock 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 little pig little pig let me come in oh no it was the big bad wolf and the pig answered with no, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew his house in. And then that pig ran to his brother's house who made his house out of sticks. Help me, brother, the big bad wolf came and blew my house down. Oh, we should be safe here. And next thing you know, knock, knock. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair and my chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down. And the little pigs ran on over to their smart brother's house that built his house out of bricks. Oh no, brother! The big bad wolf came and blew our houses down. Oh, you don't have to worry about this. My house is strong. It's made out of bricks. So along came the wolf. Knock, knock. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No, no, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down.
Oh, this house isn't blowing down. <sighs> so then he got really mad. So he climbed up to the chimney. And the smart brother knew what he was doing. So he prepared a nice pot at the end of the chimney and was waiting there for him. The wolf went down the chimney and he landed in a hot pot of boiling water that the brother had put down there. Ow! And he ran away. And the three brothers never saw that big bad wolf again and they lived happily ever after all together in the brother's brick house. The end. So maybe you can come up with your own story or maybe there's another fairy tale that you know very well and you can make some pictures or puppets or anything like that and share that story with your families. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.